I actually have been doing this since in utero, that's what I like to say. My mom is a physical therapist, um, and so she's taught us things about the profession our whole lives, my sister and I. Um, so after college, I decided to go to physical therapy school at Rutgers. And, um, and now I'm part of this business, which is actually our family business, and my mom and my sister and my dad and I all uh, run it and practice in it as well. I became a physical therapist in a roundabout way. I initially went to school for undergrad as communications and advertising, and then I found my way into physical therapy. Uh, I've always been an athlete, and my father is actually a chiropractor, so I've always liked the body. And then I fell into physical therapy because I realized after being a personal trainer for many years that I wanted to help people more on a clinical basis. So now I marry the two of strength and conditioning and physical therapy. So physical therapy is basically trying to make your movement easier, right? We want you to feel empowered to move freely, to do what you want to do in terms of your goals. So we look at you as an individual and what you're having difficulty with, whether that's cooking or standing or gardening or playing a sport or being able to uh, walk outside in the community, right? Those, we're looking at your goals and then we create a customized plan in order to allow you to meet those goals. That includes things like stretching, massage, cupping, dry needling. We have different interventions that we can utilize to help bring your body back to normal length, decrease pain, and then allow you to move better so we teach you different strengthening exercises, we go over movement patterns to make you feel like you can do whatever you want to do. So physical therapy is a way to help work with people so that they can get back to the function, the strength, the goals that they want to in a physical capacity. So if you're in pain, right, you don't want to move because it hurts. Uh, so physical th therapy can help with getting people out of pain, uh, teaching them ways to help mitigate those symptoms, get you stronger, get you more flexible, more mobile, so that you can enjoy the life that you actually want to live and not feel like I'm married to this pain and I can't do the things that I used to be able to do. So say, for example, you have knee pain. You come in and we talk first. We talk about your knee, we talk about where the pain is located, how often the pain is occurring, what the pain feels like, and then based on that we address that pain with different stretches or I'll do a little massage on the knee or I, use, I do different joint mobilizations to try and create space in that knee joint. And then once the pain has come down a bit, we'll go over different stretches, exercises, get you going on the stairs, practice kneeling, practice um, walking, do different exercises to make sure that you can do all of those things. And then at the end, depending on how you're feeling, maybe you'll get on the bike, maybe we'll do some heat, but we'll just kind of recap and talk about how the session went and what the plan is for the next session. When we start up a physical therapy plan of care, every person that comes in is met with the therapist and they go through a uh, initial evaluation. So there we talk about what your goals are, how long you've been experiencing pain or the symptoms or the loss of function. And we try to plan forward, right? And reverse engineer where you want to get to backtrack into where you are today, right? So if it's a loss of range of motion, we want to incre increase your flexibility and your mobility. If it's a loss of strength or coordination, we want to do improvement in motor control, improvement in strength, right? And then you package all that together and then you get the person to what they want to do. So their goals are always really important. Um, so our, our goals as a physical therapist might be to improve your range of motion, improve your strength. But as an individual coming in, I want to be able to play with my grandkids, I want to be able to walk around the park three times without my ankle hurting. I want to be able to lift something into the top shelf without my shoulder hurting. Right, So those goals, as individual as they are, certainly is taken into account with the initial evaluation and the continuance of plan of care. If you have been in chronic pain for a long time, you might have a longer length of a plan in order to be with us versus if you had an acute injury, you might be here for just a few sessions. It's really dependent on you and how you're presenting to us. About four to six weeks is where we usually see, see people um, being here for. Some people are here for two sessions, some people are here for 24 sessions, right? It's, it's so variable based on how you are. <laughs>
This facility in Mountainside is one of five different locations, right? So we try to globally, um, globally, locally uh, affect the, the surrounding communities. So uh, Mountainside is a small town. Um, we're a small family business uh, operation, right? So uh, word of mouth is always really important for us, right? Getting people in so that they have a good experience, right? And deliver what is promised, right? As far as the results that they want to get to, you know, again, going into loss, uh, reduction or elimination of pain, improve range of motion, and again, going for their goals that they want to try to get to. If they have a good experience and they feel that, that is a reflection, I was able to do this, that's, that's a win on our end. We are a small private practice. We're here to serve the community. We are integrated into where people are walking, how people are moving, and we want people here to feel better. We're, we're lo really looking at a person as an individual, and that's what we um, value ourselves in. We, we're never giving you a random protocol for doing something just specifically by a sheet, right? We're looking at you, we're talking to you, we wanna make sure that you feel like you know what's happening and that you're getting better and we're meeting your goals. If you've been dealing with pain or been dealing with a, a loss of function, right, a physical therapist evaluation might be a really good place to start. And New Jersey is actually a direct access state, which means that you don't typically need a insurance uh, approval or a physician approval in order to come be evaluated. Some insurances do, um, but with this, within the state of New Jersey, it may be a best option to seek out PT first before seeing an orthopedic uh, or a surgeon. We are going to make sure that you feel like you know what's happening. We never want you to feel like you're here just doing a bunch of random exercises and then moving on. We want you to feel like you can do those exercises at home, you know what the exercise is for, and you can take that exercise into your daily life. We want you to feel like you're maximizing your potential, like you have what it needs, what you need to move forward with your life, and that you know how to control your pain. We want you to feel independent, and if you need to come back, you always can, but we want to make you feel like you don't need to.